The Education Department is rolling out a series of major changes to a notoriously troubled public student loan forgiveness program for student loan borrowers and the public service. In a press release, Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona said, The system is not delivered on that promise to date, but it is about to change for many borrowers who have served the communities and their country. The PSLF program, created by Congress in 2007, enables government and nonprofit employees with federally backed student loans to apply for forgiveness after proof of 120 monthly payments under a qualifying repayment plan. This embattled PSLF program has yielded an extremely low success rate in the single digits for years, partly because many borrowers simply do not qualify. According to the Education Department, just over 16,000 borrowers have ever received forgiveness under the PSLF prior to this action. So what are they actually doing to the PSLF system? Here are the top five major changes to the program. Number one, providing waivers for borrowers with federally backed but not government-owned loans. This is a temporary, limited PSLF waiver that allows all prior payments by borrowers to count towards PSLF, regardless of what repayment plan or the loan program they were in. Number two, waiver for payments not made in full or not on time. The Education Department will also waive restrictions on the type of repayment plan and the requirement that payments need to be made in full and on time for all borrowers. Number three, addressing PSLF for military borrowers. This one is a huge and much needed provision. The Education Department will allow military service members who have paused payments while on active duty to count their deferments and forbearances towards PSLF, getting credit towards the 120 monthly payments. Number four, identifying federal employees and military borrowers for PSLF. Additionally, the Education Department will also automatically provide credit towards PSLF for military service members and federal employees using federal data matches. This will be implemented next year. And number five, reviewing and reconsidering applications that were denied. The Education Department will also review denied PSLF applications for errors and give borrowers the ability to have their decisions reconsidered. The Education Department added this will help identify and address servicing errors or other problems that stop borrowers from getting credit towards forgiveness. These changes are all important steps towards a better and stronger PSLF program, one that will move away from the current situation in which too few borrowers receive forgiveness and too many do not receive credit for years of payments they've made because of complicated eligibility rules, servicing errors, or other technicalities. As many of these waivers are time sensitive, if you have any questions about how your student loan repayment fits into your overall financial plan, reach out to us in the information below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.